Hey everybody, it's King of Koopas here, and welcome back to some more Psychonauts. In the last part, we got to the top of uh, Thorny Towers, home for the uh, Disturbed. And in this part, we're going to finish off collecting all the side cards and side challenge markers here on the main campground. I believe I've gotten everything for th th um, bleh, Thorny Towers, unless otherwise they do, so I'll put something on the screen now if I'm wrong on that. And in this part, we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to be jumping around the map pretty much and just showing you the location of the last remaining cards. I'm not going to be doing full commentary or even a coherent, co eh, coherent continuous gameplay. I'm just going to be jumping around the, ma the map and showing you where the last side cards are. Because I don't know where most of them are and I'm going to be searching for a while. But, with that being said, sit back and I guess enjoy. I'll meet you guys whenever we're done collecting. Quick little post commentated edit here, I just want to let you know now, I actually missed this challenge marker on my original playthrough here. I didn't notice it until after I had gotten 100% in every other aspect, so with that being said, the final battle is going to kick off with me being at level 99. However, I'm still going to show you what happens with for the 100% reward. That the faces of the damned be forever imprinted in your soul. Uh, anyway, we are back here at the top of the tow tower. The tower? I, I have made sure, I have triple checked to make sure I got all the side cards, challenge markers. I've bought everything from the store that I can. In fact, if you look here, I um, brought, I brought, bought three dream flops just in case. Because, you know, getting 100% can be stressful sometimes. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the top here and let's help break Lily out. Now, as I'm warning again, if you have any business left that you haven't taken care of yet, whether that be an item from the shop, whether that be a side card that you may have missed on the campground or whatever, be sure to get it now. Because once you free Lily, you are forever boned out of getting anything in the overworld. You'll still be able to visit the psychic worlds, but you won't be able to get anything else that's outside of the psychic worlds. Just a warning. With that being said, let's do it. Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's going to take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door! <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants, so trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! Sasha! You get to kill him too! Uh, 
Well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? It wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. was my fight. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV? <laughs> TV? Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! 
Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win! <laughs> And here we go, at long last, well, not exactly how we planned it, we're finally going to fight Oleander. As you see here, Oleander is going to create a giant shield made out of the debris of the uh, asylum here. What you're going to want to do is, the only spells or um, abilities you're going to need here is your pyrokinesis, which I already have equipped, your shield, which you're going to want to bind to an easy to reach button, and, and, your, um, and your telekinesis. Now, starting up the fight here, what you're going to want to do here is... First of all, wait for him to throw a block here. He's going to throw it, simply shield from it. And what you're going to want to do here is pick up these little blocks and start blasting a hole in his defenses. And keep doing this repeatedly. Don't stand on where they spawn because they actually can hurt you. And now just shield any of his attacks. It's just easier to do it that way. Once you get a free shot, walk up and, and burn a part of his uh, wooden, the wooden part of his shield. Okay, come on. Come on. And now what you're going to want to do here is just throw a block up on top of the side tank. Repeat that three times and you have beaten the boss. Not a very hard boss, not, ver not very much variation. To be honest, I'm kind of disappointed in this boss. Like, this boss could have been so much more. I mean, considering it's freaking Oleander. But, you know, make a do with what you get. Just keep blasting holes in his defenses and then light it up. I don't believe the floating pieces can actually hurt you, but even so. Now what we're... All right, let's see if we can go back over here and let's see if we can get a nice, good view of that tank. Come on, respawn. Okay, guess not. Go over here. Shield. Actually, I actually don't think I shield that right, but either way. That's block two. Only one more block. I'm trying to think of like a block-related pun here. Like, the, the only thing that's coming to my mind right now is Legos, and this isn't Lego. This is, um... What's that one game? I can't figure it out. It's like a free... It's not free to play, but... I don't know. I don't know. Will you just... Ugh, stupid game. It's not grabbing. Like, got a light. Uh, I had to... I don't know why I love that joke so much. The you got a light joke. It's so stupid. And... There we go. Relatively easy boss. All we gotta do now is get up there and disarm the tank once and for all. going to do have to think <laughs> like I got a choice I don't think the five second rule applies to being a brain but anyway <laughs> as you can see now it's never as easy as you think it is we are now but our brain however we can still throw ourselves and we can shield ourselves that's pretty much all we can do so we only have one option we're gonna have to throw ourselves into the minds of coach Oleander and just take the chance for whatever may happen. Oh, hi! My name's Marcel Oleander, but you can call me Mori or Oli. Coach Oleander? What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, that's him! Oh no! Come on, little bunny! We'll be safe in here! So as you can see, by, mer by merging our minds with Oleander, 
Let's say we, we created some weird, deranged psychic world. Well, only one thing to do. Let's head into the traveling caravan. And as you can see here, we got a lot of mental cobwebs. That means this must be a part of their mind that they've really been neglecting. So let's just go through and let's see what awaits us on the other side. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little buddy, don't go in there! That's a bad place! That's a bad place for bunnies! Guys, welcome to the last level of the game. Meet Circus. Now, I'm gonna have to kind of quote someone here. A guy by the name of Lord Cat. This is this is what he said on his um, "Until We Win" of Silver Surfer. Now, up until this point in the game, the difficulty has been following pretty much a steady logarithmic curve. Unfortunately, we've seemed to have lost the curve and found ourselves on a completely different piece of graph paper. Yeah, that's pretty much how this is. The game is easy up until this point. Like, I'm serious. This is going to be probably the only level in the game where you're legit going to have a lot of trouble beating just because of how hard and freakishly annoying it can get. But with that being said, I think we're going to do that in the next part. So uh, I guess then we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get started on Meat Circus until we see if we can get to the end of this deranged world. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.